What's up everybody, Sir LT Giles here, and this is my review of episode 3 of Two Detectives Season 2, maybe tomorrow. First of all, I want to say I'm very happy, so happy that Ray survived. A lot of commenters, you guys put in the comments and told me that you believe that Ray was alive, that he had a vest on, and we find out that it was some riot rounds and he broke a little few ribs, but Ray's okay and I'm very happy about that. So Ray gets, has a dream and it's, I believe his uncle or maybe just somebody close to the family and we find out that that guy is somebody in his life, you know, that, that he, he probably grew up with and, um, Ray wakes up and everybody gets there and we find out that, um, that Ray's alive, man, and I'm just so happy about that. And when Ray gets to the ambulance and he's smoking a cigarette, it really looks to me like Ray's thinking about who got me, who who fucked me. <laughs> and then later, we get to a scene where Ray and Frank are talking, and Ray asks him, he goes, he, he thinks maybe you, you led me into a situation where this is where, where you got me, and, and Frank's like, no, it wasn't me. And things move on, and I don't think it was Frank, because in the scene with Frank, where he finds out his buddy got killed, he just looks oblivious, and I don't think that Frank, I thought that Frank had, was a man pulling the strings, that maybe he, he knew the killer, or something was going on, but I don't think Frank, Frank is behind everything. So this episode, to me, was really good. I want to um talk about, the scene where Paul and Azaridi were in the car and it was hilarious. The the cigarette, the e-cigarettes get, gets mentioned again. And he's like, is that a fucking e-cigarette? <laughs> and then Paul meets with his um war buddy. And he brings up something about the war. And Paul does not want to talk about it. And Paul gets pissed. And we see a scene from the trailers where Paul throws him down. And um, we know something dark must have happened with Paul in the military. And maybe that might come into play, maybe not. But something very dark came. So Paul and Azariti go to the mayor's house. And they're investigating. And they really come up with nothing. But the mayor is furious about it. He does not. The mayor is very disappointed with <laughs> them coming. And he wants Azariti's badge. And they're talking to, they're talking to Ray. And they want to know a they want they want to know about her and his you know and stuff and I don't think um I hope Azarita doesn't Azarita doesn't lose her badge and um this whole episode was like a lot of investigating and stuff and we come we come to Frank and Azarita in the house and the wife comes and she says here's ten thousand I don't want you to to pursue custody battle and Frank's like no way in hell and Frank gets really pissed off and the the wife leaves Frank loves his son I hope I really hope that Frank gets gets custody of it not custody but gets to be with his son and um so Paul and Azariti go to the club and they're looking around and it's funny because Paul looks at Vince Vaughn and I don't think they recognize each other and then so so Frank's in the club and he sees all the like it looks like I believe like crime leaders or something or maybe club leaders I don't know and he asks them about Casper and they all really I don't know if they've seen him but they all have all their flyers and stuff and it's pretty so like I don't know if any of them know or whatever but anyways the guy we seen from last episode he with the fuck you and his and his gold teeth he's like questioning Frank and trying to Tell Frank that he ain't what he used to be. And so they have a fight and fucking Frank beats the shit out of him. And then we learn later when Frank's with his wife, he had all the gold in his hand. I don't know. It looked like it was melted down. It was weird. And he throws it in the fireplace. And Frank's wife just wants to talk to him about, I think she wants a baby. I don't know what's going on. So when Ray and Azariti... They see, I believe it might be the killer, maybe not. And she's all, they're all running after her. And they, they try and catch him, but they can't. And then, like, the car almost hits Azariti. And Frank saves her. And he's like, um, what do they have on me? And she's like, I don't know. And 
We'll see what happens next week. I'm just really happy that Frank is alive. I'm Frank, I'm sorry. Ray is alive. And this episode couldn't have done wrong. And the reason why it couldn't is because Ray is alive and I'm really happy. And I give this episode an 8 out of 10. And I would have rated it lower if, if Ray was, was dead. But Ray's alive. I can't wait to see the following weeks what happens in this episode. I, I'm a True Detective fan and I'm going to keep on watching. Shout out to you um, commenters that told me Ray was alive. And we'll see what happens the next week. So T. Giles out. Subscribe. Like. I can't get enough subscribers. I'm at 68. Let me help me to get to 70, guys. Man, the sky's the limit. Whatever I could do, I'm happy with what I got. So T. Giles out.